Hello everyone, it's Bullet Envy, uh, bringing you a video today on our camper, and sorry for the noise, there's like 20 of them out here. So I'm at my personal house today, just uh, out here working on this, and I'm starting a new series. Um, it's the Prepper Camper, or whatever you want to call it, we just got a basic Coleman 17B, and sorry again for the rooster um i just wanted to today's video is going to be about solar i added solar to this and eventually i'll go over a complete overview of this entire camper but today's video is just showing you what i did as far as the solar setup so let's get into it we're going to start right here at the battery i want you to get a look at it so First thing I've done, I added the dual propane tanks. I just got them out of the way so I can work. And when I first bought this camper, it came with the biggest rat's nest of wire. And I'm actually gonna go to the side view. So, it the wires that, I don't understand the technicians that work on these things, there were wires dangling down literally just hanging there was like a two prong little rubber capped i don't even know how to describe it but basically everything was just dangling down now i just got done working on this so i'll tie all this up and button it up nice but the way it was wired i just decided i wanted to do something a little better so i got these bus bars off of amazon these are 300 amp bus bars and i got the positive and the negative and wired up everything there and then on the battery, I put these little quick dis disconnects. So I don't, there's not really a reason to do so. I just don't, just in case I didn't have any tools and I needed to switch out the battery, you just pull that off and you can literally lift straight up. But so these were only $10, maybe even less. I thought they were pretty neat. So just got one positive, one negative, and then. Just ran the positive here, the negative there, and then put the ground wire there. And keep in mind, I'm not an electrician. I've just wired up a few solar, so I'm sure somebody here can find a better way to do this, but it works, it works great. And so the wires actually run all the way to the back of the camper, and they come to this junction box. And they came forward to here, they meet with the plug for the truck for the lights and then there's that so that's the battery setup and that wire with the wire loom that's actually the solar so I'm gonna go over to the charge controller inside which is where I put this one and take you guys with me all right coming in here I got everything open so there's the charge controller as you see right now I'm getting about half an amp charge it's a super cloudy day i mean well yeah so there's that i love this charge controller i bought three of these guys they're like 20 30 bucks a piece and i put two wire or drilled holes right there and put the two wires through there and they run into the floor they run into the floor. I drilled four separate holes just so none of the wires will ever touch each other. And only mistake I made, this is where your trash can would go. So I made a mistake though. When I was pulling the wire to the battery, I didn't leave enough to kind of go up into this corner like this one. And I'm going to clamp it down nice and neat to the side, just like that. Just been super busy lately. So I'll splice some more wires and then be able to move that over but you just take this panel down and it goes right there to there and now this is the wire that coming from the solar panel these are the wires that go to the battery i use 10 gauge because i was traveling so much like i could have put it in the bottom storage of the camper but i wanted it inside so i could read my voltage read what the solar panel is doing while being inside the camper laying in bed whatever this particular controller comes with two DC plugs 
it comes with two wires that you can just attach to whatever two usb that's how you turn the usb on it tells you how much how many amps you're drawing like for your phone laptop whatever usb connection you can turn it off this tells you what the charge for the solar panel that's coming in and right now like i said it's very very overcast so but it keeps the battery going now i have it set right now to run off this panel it's just a 30 watt i'm just testing it but i have a couple hundred watts that i can plug in i actually moved this here when you buy this camper they say it's solar ready it's not it's a lie it's a marketing gimmick this plug it comes with this plug and that's it it's not hooked up there's no charge controller they just use this to say that it's solar ready but this plug was actually up front where the battery was i moved it here so there's less travel to the charge controller granted i'll have a lot of travel for the battery wire but you know you win some you lose some so that's plugged in here now we're up to 0.6 i think i got like two amps the other day so it keeps it really charged for just this one battery and i actually have i bought that 10 gauge plug and it came with this wire you can plug that and have your mc4 connectors so you can plug a 100 watt panel into that so all right let's go back outside all right, so down here, I'm just going to show you where I ran everything. I am upside down, so sorry for the shoddy camera work, but ran it just straight up through the floor, and I'll silicone that. And then the wires, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. Uh, there we go. Ran all the way down under that, all the way down. Sorry for the shoddy camera work, I'm basically upside down. So ran all the way here. Just wrapped it around right there. Came all the way over. And then go straight to the bus bar. So that's all I did. And then in addition, so I could shut the charge controller off. That's why I put everything to the bus bar. I added this, so when I turn this off, it'll shut the battery down, all power to the bat or to the camper completely down. And it will not accept any charge either. So everything's off, everything's on, simple. All right, guys, well, that's the video. So hope you guys enjoyed the start of this series. I'll have more videos to come. So until then, stay free.